Next question is explain the construction, operation and characteristics of enhancement MOSFET. Okay. So uh, it is asked for 10 marks from the question August, September 2020. So first let's see the construction of the enhancement MOSFET. So what is the only difference between your uh, enhancement MOSFET and your depletion MOSFET? So, so you will have a P-type semiconductor acting as a substrate to which two heavily doped N-type semiconductor will be embedded right and you will be having a silicon dioxide layer so this will be your metal contact this is going to be your insulator or your SiO2 silicon dioxide layer okay so you will be having the N type semiconductor one will be taken as the source and the other will be taken as the drain and the middle contact will be is your gate so it has three terminals right gate drain and source now you will be having the substrate SS connection and it will be connected to the source so this is the general construction okay and the it is similar to that of your symbol so what is your symbol of your so you'll be having two terminals gate drain and source so this will be your drain and let me take this as n channel if you take n channel it is pointing towards right so this will be your symbol be your symbol of your n channel enhancement mosfet opposite will be that of your P channel enhancement MOSFET. The very important characteristic feature of your construction is that it doesn't have any channel. There is no channel present. Channel is absent. That is the difference between your depletion MOSFET and your enhancement MOSFET. So it is also in general it is called as off MOSFET. These are the important points which you have to write. Okay. So channel is absent. There is no channel between your two n-type semiconductors. Okay. Moving on to the operation. So what will be your working principle or your operation? So let us consider three cases. Case 1 when VGS is equal to 0. So when VGS is equal to 0, I am not giving any signal here. When VGS is equal to 0, you will be having no current flowing through it. So ID current will be equal to zero because there is no channel for the current to flow okay case two when vgs is equal to positive so since this is an n type or n channel enhancement mosfet the channel is going to be your n channel okay so when i am applying vgs positive vgs if i apply positive vgs what will happen the positive charge carriers will be accumulated across your gate now your silicon dioxide layer will act as a uh, capacitor right so it will whenever you have a positive across this opposite side what what it will do the minority carriers will be accumulated across your silicon dioxide layer and it will pull back your majority carriers okay towards the substrate so as your vgs now when vgs is equal to positive your slowly your minority carriers negative equal and opposite charges will be accumulated here positive and negative but still in this case your id will be equal to zero because your vgs in this case is less than vgs will be less than your threshold voltage that is taken as vth okay so this will be your case two let us take the case three when vgs is equal to positive and when vgs is greater than your threshold voltage now suppose you, if you are further increasing your vgs and here also you are going to give your positive okay vds now as you keep on increasing your vgs what will happen your positive charge carriers increases here so your accumulation of your negative charge carriers increases such that it forms a channel now okay virtual channel will be formed Okay, so that the current starts flowing, ID current starts flowing. So therefore when VGS is positive and when VGS is greater than the threshold voltage, the minority carriers 
will be accumulated more towards your uh, silicon dioxide layer and it forms a channel between the two n type semiconductor so there will be a flow of flow of id current current drain current will be present so what will be your, you have two equations here what will be your vds saturation from the output drain characteristics you can write that vds saturation is equal to vgs minus your vgs threshold or your threshold voltage or i can write it as vgs threshold so this is one and your id current current id and the current id is given by k into vgs minus v threshold the whole square for vgs is greater than v threshold these are the very important points which you have to write for your operation moving on to your characteristics you have two characteristic characteristics right one is your drain characteristics and the other one is your third one characteristics and your transfer characteristics so drain characteristics is also called as your output characteristics so what will be your this is also called as your output characteristics so what is meant by output characteristics a graph which is plotted between your output current and what is your output voltage vds keeping input voltage as constant that is vgs as constant so vgs is equal to let me take it as plus 3 volt vgs is equal to plus 4 volt vgs is equal to plus 5 volt plus 6 volt it goes on okay vgs is equal to plus 7 volt volt etc so when vgs is equal to v threshold so v threshold it starts conducting so if i take in this case vgs is equal to plus 2 volt or 1.5 volt so this is called as your threshold when it reaches the threshold it starts conducting when vgs is equal to 0 there is no current id is equal to 0 as vgs uh, crosses the threshold your id keeps on increasing so this will be your drain characteristics so you can write it elaborately okay i'm just giving the important points so what will be your transfer characteristics it is opposite to that of your drain characteristics so what is your uh, graph the graph plotted between your output current and your input voltage keeping vds output voltage as constant constant so you can 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so this is for n channel so what will happen once it reaches your threshold voltage your id starts increasing so vgs vgs is equal to 3 volt so here vgs threshold is equal to 1.5 volt so here i can take it as 1.5 volt so above 1.5 volt your only after the threshold voltage your id starts increasing so vds is equal to for example if vds is equal to 3 volt plus 3 volt this is an example so here the graph plotted between id and vgs keeping vds as constant here the graph which is plotted between id and vds keeping vgs as constant so these are the important points which you can write it for 10 marks we have to elaborate it and write construction operation and characteristics